name is Jia Babu. I go to Green Oak International School. I live in Potarakot, Nigeria. I've been taking basic mathematics classes from Kapil Sir. Today I'm going to give you some examples of questions he has given us. Let's start with multiplying by nines. What you do is you will take and for this side you're going to subtract one just one from this whole number making it 126 and this part you will do 9 minus 1 8 9 minus 2 7 and then finally you will do 10 for the last number that's 10 minus 7 3 next we're going to be doing the base method with positive deviation. So, let's pick our numbers. The base is basically 10, hundred, thousands, ten thousands, one millions, etc. So here, our, and our deviation is like the number minus the base is equal to deviation. So, 105, you minus the 100, which is the base, and you get 5, so 5 is our deviation, and here we do the same thing, and we get 3. And you're going to multiply these two numbers to get the right part. 5 times 3, 15. A good rule to keep in mind during this is that when you multiply these numbers, it should be like the base of this is 100, and it has two zeros, so the answer of this side should have only two numbers. If it has one number, add a zero in front. If it has more than two numbers, then you carry over. Then 105 plus 3 or 103 plus 5. 108. Please feel free to cross verify these answers. Next we've got like square the number ending in 5. So Let's pick 45 square and this is only two digits you do you multiply 4 by a number that is greater than it by 1 that's 4 times 5 20 and then the like it will always end in 25 but there's a 5 there so 25 we're gonna do some more questions Let's take any number, like any two-digit number squaring. So we'll take 22 squared. So basically you will do 2 times 2, 4. 2 times 2 again, <laughs> coincidence, 4 again. And then you do that times 2, which is 8. So 8 here. And then coincidence again, 2 times 2, 4. I picked a very good number for myself, didn't I? Okay, next we've got... Multiplying by 11, so we'll pick 36, multiply by 11, equal to, so for the units place, you write the last number, 6, and you skip one place, that's the tens, and you go to the hundreds, which is 3, and the numbers in between, you're going to do 3 plus 6, 9, so 9, this is your answer. Now, thank you for joining me through this video, and... I thank you, Kapil Sir, because you're a great teacher. Kapil Sir's um, classes are really enjoyable and educative. I hope you join as soon as you can. Bye!